and a pound of meat. Oh. We've got slop. That's too much. I was going to put it... Now we have to put it in a pan. And now we have to put it in a meatloaf pan. Holy cow. Oh, it's like pink slime. Oh, it's like pink slime. Oh. Still might taste good, though. All right, we've got slop here. How do you form that into a loaf? You don't. I'm going to look at the recipe again. I'm looking at the recipe again. One pound of ground beef. One and a half cups carnation milk. Two cups of soft breadcrumbs. What did I do wrong? This is 12 ounces. Eight and four, that's 12. Do we use our corning or our... Oh, zoom back. Wow, that, that's... Do we use our do we use our corning or our glass? This needs to be cleaned. Wow. All right. I'm we're going to use corning. I put less salt. Why didn't I just put less carnation milk? Oh. Look, one of the reasons I wanted to do this was cuz it said there was a lot of carnation, but there was also a lot of breadcrumbs. So, I was intrigued. Oh, it's like pink, it's, it's pink slime. It's said to bake for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna bake it for 20, and then we'll coat it with the caro and ketchup, okay? Whoa, ooh, pink slime. All right. In the, it's in a rack. Pink slime in the house. Okay, we're at 30 minutes. Don't burn me. Why don't we pour some of the fat off? Why, why don't we do that? It's kind of like jelly. Oh, <laughs> all right, forget it. I still want to glaze it. I'm gonna see if I can pour some of the fat out. It's really gonna be hot. No, it's not going to work. All right, back into the oven. 
All bets are off. I have no idea for how long. Back in. Okay, so it has been about 50 minutes. We'll test the temperature. Alright. It does not look good. You know, maybe if it cools enough, we'll be able to slice it. Here we go. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, it says it's cooked. 170, but it's like soft in there. What a fail. One more place, one more place. You know what? It's cooler in the center. I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Let's do another 15. All right, she's coming out. 10 seconds to go. Let's bring her out. It's very soupy in there. Try over here. 181. One oh, it's cooked. I want to try and get it out. If I let this cool, burnt, it's going to be very difficult to clean. Maybe with two spatulas we can do this. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Oh wow. Hey! It's out! It's jiggly like jello. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. A little over 15 minute rest time. First slice. Oh. Well, it's a little flesh colored. It's still very hot. I want to hold it. You need a sharp knife. A really sharp knife. It looks edible. I bet you it'll firm up in the fridge. You clean this while it's hot. Pyroceram can take it. It's very easy to clean. Let's try a piece. It's very soft. Holy moly. Okay, first of all, the ketchup and caro is delicious. That is delicious. Let's try another bite. It's not unpleasant, it's just very soft. Here we go. Try another bite. I didn't saute the onions, because the recipe didn't say to saute the onions. They are a little bit chewy. I planned to pick up some Hunt's meatloaf sauce, and I forgot this morning. It tastes good. It does not taste bad. It doesn't always work out like you plan. We should taste a piece without any of the sauce, right? All right, sauceless. Flavorless. Pretty awful without the sauce and the glaze. I can eat it with the sauce, gladly, even though it's way too soft, way too much carnation. At least we made something we could eat. If you come across Carnation's beef loaf from 1942 and it says a pound of beef and a cup and a half of Carnation, you might want to rethink things. I'm really tempted to do it over. I'm going to eat it all. I'm going to eat all of it. Mm. This might firm up really well in the fridge. You know what I'm going to say? What am I going to say? Thanks for watching.